In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a quick and easy clock animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So to create the clock animation effect, we are first just going to turn on the proportional grid. Then we are going to go up into this tool here. So it might look like the rectangle tool for you, but just hold that, drag that down and reveal the ellipse tool. Then we'll hold shift on the keyboard and we'll just drag that to create a perfect circle. Now, as you'll see at the moment, this is completely off center. You can see the anchor point is here. So we're just going to go into transform and I'm just going to move the anchor point so that it is now in the center. And then if it's still not in the center, just feel free to nudge that around. But you might have a solid circle here or maybe you've got this stroke, but essentially to get to this point, you just want to select the word fill at the top, not the box, select the word. And then you're just going to select none. Then we'll go into stroke again, the word, not the box. Select this second option, which is solid. And we can increase the stroke here. Now we're just going to go ahead and create one of our hands. So if we go up to the pencil, you want to select that again, make sure there is no fill and make sure you have a stroke. We're just going to select the bottom and then just go up. Now it's really important here that your anchor point is sitting in the very center. So at the bottom of this line, because we're going to control this with the rotation. And if we just press R on the keyboard to load rotation, you can see that is how it is supposed to look because the anchor point is there. If the anchor point was down and then I've rotated it, it wouldn't look right. So it's really important that you go into that shape layer, those hands, go into transform, and then make sure the anchor point, which is this circle here, sits at the very bottom of that arm. So just there, that will do. And then of course we can do that again. So I'm just going to turn off the layer before just so I don't affect that one. Go to the center and then go up, but we'll make this a shorter hand this time. So again, make sure the anchor point is sitting at the very bottom, which it is. So now you can just go ahead and rotate. So if we just open both of these up to the transform window, create a brand new keyframe on rotation on both. Then we'll go over a few seconds and now we can rotate. So this hour hand is only obviously going to go to one o'clock and then the minute hand is obviously going to do a full spin around. So when we play this back, you can see that is what we have. It's not the prettiest animation at the moment though. So what we can do to smooth that up is we can just convert all of those keyframes to easy ease keyframes. So select everything, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And you can see that's just going to smooth the animation out a little bit. Looks a lot nicer. Now let's say you didn't want to do a clock face and you wanted to do more of a timer or a countdown effect. Well, in that example, I would just delete the hour hand because we don't need that. That's not relevant to us. I'd go through to the very beginning, go to rotation, go to five seconds and make sure I've just done a full circle. So it should be one zero. So if it starts off at zero zero, then five seconds in, we should be at one zero. And that just means it's going to do a full 360 spin. Now from here, we'll just copy the original shape layer. So that's circle. So we'll go command C, command V. Then we are just going to change the color of the stroke to a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for a nice soft blue. Then just increase the stroke till it's really chunky. There we go. So we should end up with a full circle without the dot in the middle. Now we'll drag that onto the very bottom, press S on the keyboard to load scale, and then we'll pull that down so that it fills up that circle. So we end up with this. Right now we need to go into that shape layer. We'll select add and we'll select trim paths. Go into that and then we can go to end. We'll pull that all the way down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on end. Then we'll go to five seconds in and increase that to 100%. We'll convert both those keyframes to easy ease keyframes. And when we play this back, this is what we end up with. Now, of course, if you wanted this white line here to go all the way up to the edge, you can do so just by going to that point. We'll create a brand new point there. And then we'll just drag this second point all the way over. Make sure that it is a straight line still. And then when we play this back from the beginning, you can see that staying there like that. 
Now, of course, let's say as this animates around, you wanted to also keep a white line there. Well, all we would do for that example is just copy the white line at the very beginning before it moves off. And then we'll just delete the rotation keyframes and that should just stay there like this. And one more example, if you wanted to add a colored background here, so rather than a black background, we wanted to add a color, then you could just go through to the end. We'll copy that circle layer, so that blue circle. So copy and paste. And then on the layer below, we're just going to delete end, but make sure end is all the way up to 100%. And we can change the stroke color to the color of your choice. So let's go for maybe a pink. And when we play this back, you'll notice we've got this pink solid there. It rotates around and then you can see it animates around with blue. So with this tutorial, you can see we started off with a traditional clock face and then we've gone on to this more of a countdown timer effect just by simply just adapting the same technique. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing or maybe even check out this video just up here.